Hang on, my hair still is falling apart. My hair got fallen out. See, this is why I don't do my hair because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Hi there, Laura here. Today I'm doing a collab with the Foxy Five. And we've done one other collab before where we did colour at any age and did lots of colourful my eye makeup looks where we chose each other's colours. And today we are doing makeup through the ages. And so we're each picking a different time zone to do makeup for. Can you guess the time zone that I'm doing? Just from the hairstyle. I'm not very good at hairstyle, so you probably can't. <laughs> So I am doing the 60s and I particularly was thinking kind of twiggy, but I'm not having the twiggy bob, <laughs> obviously. So that's what I'm doing today. And in our group, we obviously have five because that's why we called it the Foxy Five. And there is, there's Anne Morrison, who is a wonderful lady who does great colorful looks. I could say that about all of them, we all do colourful looks and she's she's very sweet and but very down to earth and will tell you what she thinks and if you want someone who is going to tell you the truth all the time then Anne is your girl. We've got Gimme Lips and More, Valerie and she is a nurse so she works full-time and she does this YouTube. I don't know how people who work full-time have time to do YouTube as well because YouTube takes so much time. <laughs> And she is a darling as well, and she just loves colour, and her and I are both have a love of orange eyeshadow. <laughs> and there's Tracy Lee Beauty, and she does lots of hauls and unboxings and um, deals of the week and things, and she um, really goes into some really good deals if, if you live in America. And also she will go through her collection and pick out what she's going to use for the week in or the month or and then tell us what she thought of them at the end which is quite good because you can really get a sense of how they worked for her and you can see that she's actually really used them and then there is Final Beauty Debbie who just loves colour and will and is doing tons of videos at the moment she's been very busy on YouTube and doing lots of great colorful looks and um, she's been reviewing quite a few palettes but she's also going back in her collection and pulling out stuff she really likes in her collection and trying them out for different looks and things I think it's so uh, it's sort of like a throwback Thursday I can't remember what she calls it <laughs> sorry do we? <laughs> but um, she she does great colourful looks too. So we, we all love colour and we're all a little bit older. We're not young teenagers here on YouTube. So we decided to get together and do a few collabs together. They're all really amazing and I would encourage you to go and check them out and I will leave all their links down below. And so I am doing 60s today and here is Twiggy with her crazy eyelashes <laughs> and so there's a few more pictures here of different kind of 60s oops yeah, let me try that again there's a few more pictures here of 60s kind of looks in modern versions of 60 looks And this is all from the website um, Blush Media. Most iconic 1960s makeup trends it is, I just googled it. <laughs> so, what are some of the 60s makeup trends? Well, for the eyes, big eyes, matte skin, and pale lips. And cool colours for eye makeup, if you were wearing eye makeup. And cut creases. Winged liner, lashes. So that's what we're doing today. Now, I can't have this in my face while I'm trying to do my makeup, so I'm going to put my cat ears on. So, eyebrows 
in all the pictures I'm looking at are pretty natural looking so I've left mine pretty natural I've just um, very little eye pencil and eye pencil brow pencil <laughs> and a little bit of gel so I used my L'Oreal brow artist plumper and just brushed that through and then I combed them through so not much to do with the brows today no carving out or anything and I need some black shadow I'm actually going to use black shadow I don't very really often do that the last time I used lots of black shadow I was actually doing my collab with Kate Blue when we did the um, inspired by music collab <laughs> so I'm going to get some black and I'm just going to use the black out of my Beauty 101 palette because I hardly ever use it and I'm supposed to be panning the palette not that I'm going to pan that I'll just tap out my lids there and they do this weird thing where they do like a cut crease but they do a really really dark line and they don't blend it out it's just a dark line sitting there <laughs> so getting them even could be the tricky part you can see when I relax really my eyes it's not quite right so when I lift my eyebrows up this one looks higher than this one because when I droop my eyelids and just relax that's when you can see them both so <laughs> My eyelids are different, as everybody's are. And to make them look the same, I've got to adjust accordingly. <laughs> well, they don't blend, so... I need just a line. This feels really weird just doing a line with no blending. are doing weird creasing things today. They don't normally do that. Don't know what's going on there today. Maybe they're a bit dry today. Maybe I'll put some moisturizer on them. like starting your eyeshadow and then putting some moisturizer on. <laughs> this black does have a few bits of glitter in it so because I'm not blending it out the glitter is showing up. You won't be able to see it on camera. I can see it in real life. <laughs> I've got random bits of glitter on me now but that's nothing new. I always have random bits of glitter on me. So there's my weird looking eyes at the moment. <laughs> That's the bottom lashes that I think I'll have fun with. Because in some photos it looks like they've actually drawn bottom lashes on. And, but when you read what it says about it, it says they actually put false eyelashes on the bottom. So I'm going to try that and see if I can do it. <laughs> it could be good for a laugh anyway. So I am going to do cut crease maybe not that I really need to do a cut crease because there isn't any eyeshadow on there but I want the color that I'm going to use to stand out so that's why I'm going to do a cut crease although since my eyelids are doing weird things today it may not work out that well I'll draw the cut crease up to where the black is, just so I can 
and tidy up the black a bit. Sorry if I'm speaking weird, but um, it's hard to talk and do stuff like this at the same time. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into my Blue Moon palette because um, from what I was reading, they do, they like to call a lot of cool colours like white and blue and stuff. So I'm going to use Moonlit, this pale blue in pale colours. But I'm not going to go all the way up to the black. I'm going to stop it about here. And it's very rounded. That's why I'm wearing my blue jersey. And they seem to like turtleneck, so I'm wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> Graphic colours. Colour blocking. We're all part of it. Apparently the Flintstones was first done in the 60s. I didn't know that the Flintstones was that old actually. <laughs> What do I think I might do in, I need a white, I think in between the black and the blue I'm going to put some white just to kind of make it more crisp and tidy it up. So I'm going to use my, oops, just put my fingernail on that, my white out of my Soph X Revolution palette. And what car brush do I want to use? I've washed my brushes so I haven't got all my normal brushes here at the moment. So I don't actually want this really white standing standing out white. I just wanted to make it a bit paler than what it actually was. And Underneath, I'm not doing much underneath, well I'm just trying to put a little shadow in just under here. I'm going to buff that out in a minute. To give the illusion of the bigger eye socket there. So, I might go into I might go into my contour colour here. Because having big eyes was the thing. So I'm going to try and do the illusion that my eyes are bigger than they actually are. The idea is you won't actually see this as an eyeshadow, you'll just it'll just look like a shadow. As if my eyes were really big and I had a big area here. <laughs> and I'm doing this before I do um <laughs> anything else on my face because if it doesn't work out I can always wipe it off then. <laughs> and eyeliner. So for eyeliner, for this particular look, some sometimes they did like a flick and sometimes they just went round and for the look I'm doing they just did a round rather than a flick out to echo this black at the top here. So that's what I'm going to do. So quite a reasonably thick eyeliner. I didn't go too thick because with my eyes if I go too thick you won't be able to see any of the blue. <laughs> and I'm going to take the blue right into here. I 
wasn't feeling 60-ish. No, <laughs> that sounded wrong. It sounded like I was feeling my age. No, <laughs> I'm not 60 anyway. I'm, f I'm feeling like I'm in the 60s. I'm, I'm feeling like I look like it, uh, that I could fit it. <laughs> Talking, obviously, is a bit of an issue today. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is I think I'll do my base and they like a matte base, so I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. So something that happened for the first time in the 60s was that the Hollywood Walk of Fame got their first star. And the very first person to get on there was Joanne Woodward, Ward, <laughs> Woodward. I don't know why I find that so hard to say, but there you go. Had the very first political debate on TV. Yeah, and I've already mentioned the Flintstones came out. Princess Diana was born, for those of you who are old enough to know who that is. <laughs> and Julia Charles, who some of you won't have any idea who I'm talking about there, <laughs> I'm sure, um, put out her Mastering the Art of French Cooking book in September of 1961 which started her out in her career as a TV chef. She became very famous. Marilyn Monroe was, um, died in the 1960s. Ma Martin Luther King Jr. did his famous speech, I Have a Dream, in 1963. And he also won the Nobel Peace Prize. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton marry for the very first time. There were massive protests about the Vietnam War in 1965. So I feel like I should be going to a Beatles concert. I'm, I'm feeling very appropriate <laughs> for that. So I used my sponge and lots of powder because they had a very matte powdered base and they used to use a lot of um, powder foundation. I don't, well I do have a powder foundation but it's not that great so <laughs> I didn't use it. And um, speaking of the Beatles, the Beatles had their first concert in America in the 60s and took off. <laughs> so there was no highlighter. There was no contouring. There was little or no bronzer, so I'm not going to do bronzer. They did use a little bit of blush, but they were into more of a pale face. And so they used, from what I was reading, more of a kind of a peach blush. And they used it just here, so it was more like a contour blush, if you get what I mean. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. So it was mainly all about the eyes, obviously. So um, now I have to do the hard part. I'm kind of procrastinating because I'm not pretty good at lashes. So I'm going to try some lashes. So I'm going to put on these Chi Chi Ellie lashes. And it's, oh, well maybe I'll just take that out of the pack because I can't show you. I have worn them before, so they're not stuck in very well. And I can't them out. The plastic casing. So they look like this. So fluttery round lashes. So wish me luck. And Walt Disney announced publicly his plans for the Walt Disney World on 
1965. It's a year in 1965. 1966. Mary Quant creates a sensation when she starts selling mini skirts. And Twiggy was named the face of 66. The Cookie Monster made his debut in the 60s. Also, tragically, Martin Luther, Luther King and Robert F. Kennedy were both assassinated. Apollo 7, the first manned flight, actually launched successfully into orbit. Okay, so I didn't get those even. This one goes down further than that one, but I'm not taking it off again now. And I used um, the black glue and I ended up getting some on my lid, so I'm going to have to touch up the eyeshadow. Never used the black glue before. That was the first time. <laughs> first time for everything. I need a smaller brush to touch up that glue. But now I can't see what I'm doing because my lashes are too long. Okay, now, bottom eyelashes, this could be interesting. Eyelashes feel weird, I'm not used to wearing them. <laughs> now, I could draw them on, or I could use some fake lashes. I'm going to try and use these little individual little clumps of lashes. See how we go. Let's see how we go. This could be a total disaster. I don't know why I asked for luck before, but now I really need it. Put a bit of glue on the bottom of that teeny, tiny lash that you might not even be able to see. And I'm doing Nikki Raven's trick of you put some glue on the lash and you put some glue on you because it seems to work better for me. One. <laughs> so in New Zealand, some of the things that happened in the 60s is we got our first official TV broadcast in the 60s. And Keith Holyoke led the Nas National Party to victory and begins his 12-year reign as Prime Minister. New Zealand medics start work in South Vietnam. On the 12th of June, 1964, the Beatles landed in New Zealand. In 1967, it was the end of the free school milk. Nineteen sixty seven also was the end of pounds, shillings and pence and they were replaced by dollars and cents. And in sixty seven, fifty years of six o'clock closing in the pubs ended. There we go. How crazy is that? That feels so weird underneath. They're tickling me. <laughs> And it looks like they've got white. So it looks like they've got white in the waterline. Um, whether I can do this without disturbing my lashes, I'm not sure. I feel crazy. <laughs> and then we need to go for a very nude kind of peachy, pinky, pale look. I think I like this one better. So 
So this is the L'Oreal Colourish Matte Blush in a Rush. And I think that goes well with it. So, I need to oops, carefully take that up. And I need to put my earrings in. I brought some earrings especially for this. Because luckily, they like plastic coloured earrings and apparently that's really in the rage at the moment. Plastic coloured earrings. So that's extremely lucky because otherwise I wouldn't have had any. So here is my 1960s inspired look. My eyelashes feel very fluttery and they're very tickly down the bottom. Never really had eyelashes down the bottom before because mine are so tiny and short. So what do you think? I'm trying to make my eyes look big. <laughs> yeah, I just look crazy. <laughs> so go and check out the rest of the Fabulous Five, the Fab Five, because they're all great and I know you'll, you'll enjoy watching all of them. And I'm really curious to see what else they do, what, what their makeup looks turn out like. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye.